Good afternoon, y'all. It's Martha here. I'm popping in today to share with you my um, makes for the Autumn Halloween collaboration I joined in where um, Crafting Diva was the host, and you will find her channel and the other participants in the description box. I'm a little bit late to the party because for some reason I had it in my mind that we were supposed to upload on the 29th. <laughs> but I started seeing people's videos this morning at 8 o'clock, and I thought, uh-oh, I made a mistake. So I went ahead and started crafting, and I just made a few little tags that I'll probably put in my Halloween journal. So let me share with you the first one. Um, I used this cute little spider on candy corn scrapbook paper for the base of my tag and then i just um i went around the edges with some black and i don't know if you can see them or not but there are little spiders everywhere that i use rub-ons to put on there Put on some little jimmies to brighten it up and then some cute little ghosts because I thought that would make it fun. And I added an extra little candy corn here and put a spider on it. And then I continued on the back with the candy and the spider theme. So I used some candy cutouts and here's a candy sticker. Added some jimmies. And then I also did some spider rub-ons on the back and just added a black ribbon to top it off. And I think it's kind of cute. I think it'll look good in my little journal. And then my second one is, this one didn't turn out exactly like I had in my mind, but it's okay. It's kind of cute. Um, I had this witch dye that I cut out and it's on this like sparkly purple paper and then I chose the word bewitching and enchanting and just backed it uh, some purple cardstock behind it and then I went over it with some just rubbed it on with my finger with some of this um, distress oxide I believe it's it's seedless preserves and then I went around the tag itself. You can't really see it a lot, probably. You can see it more in person. It kind of makes it cloudy and smoky. The purple on the black cardstock as a background. And then um, I just glued on some little dew drops and some little potion bottles and a funky little bat. And then I stamped some white letters around some white script and I went around it with gold and I added a purple ribbon at the top and then in the back I just put a little purple cardstock over the black just to maybe if I want to write something there and then I just put a purple little haunted house sticker a little potion bottle up here and then another rub on trick or treat. And <coughs> I don't know, I might add some more gems or something up here later. But anyway, that's my makes for this last uh, installment of this collaboration. And I'm sorry, Lisa and the other par participants that I'm late. Um, but I appreciate you letting me join and uh, Lisa who is the crafting diva i really appreciate you for being my friend and supporting my channel and allowing me to join in your collaborations and i will see you all again very soon bye now